1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not Yahweh made foolish the wisdom of this world? I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. Alright, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this one is going to be a quick hit. I'm going to try to make it quick as possible, but Lord's willing, edifying. Alright, something simple. You know, but it's beautiful because the Lord, you know, doing what man don't think would be done. Okay? Or the wicked. The Lord does what he does for a purpose. And how it's done and where it's done is all for a purpose okay and what's happening in the world which we're going into this cashless society new digital world of everyone being microchipped and vaccinated this is the ways of the Lord the Lord is putting this out because there's something greater coming and that's Yahweh Shai bringing the kingdom to the Lord's elect all right so this is 1 Corinthians 1 and 19. For what is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not Yahweh made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh, the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh. It pleased Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So, you know, brothers, keep in mind, you know, when we out teaching the word, it, you know, we get scoffed upon, scorned, you know. It may look foolish, but this is the way the Lord told us to do, to see salvation, man. You know, like for an example, if the Lord told you to hop on two legs, are you not going to? All right. If the Lord told you to hop on two legs and you will see salvation. Are you not going to hop on two legs? Or are you going to think that's just stupid? Right? Because you got this thing going on where camps are saying they don't have to go out on the highways and byways because we have the internet. And the internet does the heavy lifting. But Yahweh Shah commanded us to go to the highways and byways. So yeah, for after that, that the wisdom of Yahweh, the world knew, the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh, it pleased Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So it's foolish, it's foolishness to the Lord, to us be out for the, let me say the hopeful elect, okay, to be out there preaching but guess what? That's the way the Lord said that they'll be saved. Because what's coming upon this world is a great destruction, man. All right? And shit about to get real, real, man. All right? 21. You know, I can see it now. It's going to be way tougher than 2020. You know? And there was a lot of things that happened in 2020. You know? May Elder Apostle Sahar coin next year to the year of prophecy. Because this year was surely the year of prophecy, man. You know, the gears done shift. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shift these gears and put everything into speed mode. You know, we're in that sixth, seventh gear. Sixth gear going into the seventh gear. All right? So, it says, uh, verse 22. For the Jews required a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Because what Paul is speaking... It's about the Jews in the land and the Greeks being the Israelite foreigners, okay, which were coming back. They would seek wisdom and the Jews were seeking a sign. And Yahweh Shah was that sign when he came, which some of the Pharisees and Sadducees didn't believe, but some did. So anyway, it says, but we preach Yahweh Shah crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block because they didn't believe in Yahweh Shah. 
when Yahabashai came on the scene, when he started to get fame, his fame started to go abroad by his uh by first his preaching and then his miracles, you know, they thought, you know, it was black, he was committing blasphemy by speaking as if he was, you know, in power. And he was. So for the Jew uh but we preach Yahweh Shah crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness, right? But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, which are all Israelites, okay? Yahweh Shai, the power of the Most High, it says, and the wisdom of Yahweh, because the foolishness of Yahweh is wiser than men, and the weakness of Yahweh is stronger than men. So whatever which way how you cut it, the Most High is greater than you. All right? The Most High, Yahweh, Vashem Yahweh Shai, is greater than you Edomites, you elites, you Rothschilds, you international bankers. Okay? Let me read that again. It says, because the foolishness of Yahweh is wiser than men, and the weakness of Yahweh is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. So the Lord didn't choose your Jay-Z's and Denzel Washington's and Louis Farrakhan. You know, he didn't choose these guys today. He chose who you least expect. And this is uh, also some understanding. You know, if you didn't have it, hopefully it's edified to you for you to build upon your, your faith in the Lord. It's that things happen for a reason. There's always a purpose. You know, even when you can't see the reason, just wait and the Lord will open your understanding up for you to know why he's done. You know, your Shai miracles were done for a reason. Okay, it was to bring fame, you know, to his name and really fame to the Most High's name first, then him, okay? And it was to wake up the elect, you know? And the miracles were done to put fear in you, okay? To fear in you toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to honor, respect, to follow the commandments and laws of the Most High, all right? It's really for the fear, for you to wake up, you know? When you come in this truth, all right? You fear, and that's why you come in. If you ain't fearing, why you coming in? You coming in because a buddy came in. You think this thing is just a fab or something down, something to be down with, because you see a movement or whatever. Then guess what? Paul said, if it's not of faith, then it's sin. All right? If it's not of faith, because fear brings faith. All right? Then it's sin, and you're going to be rooted out, straight up and down. All right? It says... For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But Yahweh hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and Yahweh hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. So the Lord is doing the complete opposite of what you think. <laughs> you know, and that's beautiful, man. Most high, his ways are above these elite's ways. You know, he designed the movie. He created you, all right? And he created a chosen. And who could say anything against that? You know, this is his movie. This is his world. You know, just be thankful. You know, if you're an Israelite, be happy, be glad. Yeah, you did win the lottery ticket, all right? Be proud. Be humbly proud. Rejoice in the Lord. Take glory in the name of the Lord. Worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know? Shit. That's right. Alright? It says 1 Corinthians 1 and 28. The base things of the world and things which are despised. Guess what? We're despised. Now, because this COVID operation took its course... And everybody can actually, well, certain people can actually see the vision now and the message behind the Lord's word. By through the prophets. All right. The RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Okay. The image is the system. The image of the beast. Yeah, you see it now. Anyway, 
it says um the base things of the world and things which are despised have Yahweh chosen. So you calling us bum black Hebrew Israelites, you know, we ain't nothing but devils and this and that. Well, it says, and things that are despised have the most high chosen. So what these carnally men and women despise, guess what? The Lord have chosen. <laughs> Yay, and things which are not to bring to naught the things that are. So the Lord is going to crumble this society, man. The scriptures say when he is eating, then the Lord is going to cast him down, roughly paraphrasing. All right, and he's eating what? Fulfilling his enterprise, his devices, which is their new world order. The Lord is going to destroy him. Verse 29, that no flesh should glory in his presence. All right, why is dirt and ashes proud? How could you glory except for if the Lord, you know, stood by your side, okay? That no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him that ye in Yahweh Shah and Mashiach, who of Yahweh is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorify, let him glory in the Lord. So call halal la, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching His word in sincerity and truth. So with that, shalom.